I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back. Hey, girls. Um, so on last episode, uh, Dan and I just delved into the the art of the yum to dumb ratio. The, yeah, the, the, there's a hard P at the end of dumb. Yum to dump. Yeah. Um, so basically, this this all started. Tell me the tale. Susie and I were in, oh. uh, I believe we were in Texas. And we stopped at a Whataburger to get some food. And I ate the Whataburger. We got in the car. God damn it. I God know, damn it, help you, me! You're blocking me. I'm sorry. Huh. Ugh, okay. That's okay. Oh, you're so friendly, thank you. To safety. Alright, so Susie- Susie and I ate at a Whataburger. Uh-huh. We ate that shit up, it was Ugh. delicious. And then we got back in the car, got back on the road, and, uh, then we got off at the next exit, at the next Whataburger, <laughs> and, uh, just evacuated. <laughs> It's <laughs> just so and, and I was like, man, that's Both the, of you? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's rough. And uh, that was <laughs> our first run-in with the concept of the yum to dump. <laughs> because the yum to dump was literally five minutes. Wow. It was, it was like immediate food, immediate bowel evacuation. I've, I've never had that. That's like, for, for someone with my digestive system, where I'm lucky if it happens like once a week, like, you, uh, you are truly living the dream whose name I dare not speak. <laughs> Well, that's weird, because I have a horrible digestive system, too, but it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shit too much. It's terrifying. And, uh, it's- it's- it gets in the way, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, we're, if we're out, especially here in LA, where it's just like, nobody wants you to use their bathroom, no matter what. That's Even if true. you're a fucking customer, some people would be like, no, it's for employees only. Yeah. And it's like, you guys serve food. Nobody else pees in the world. Yeah. It's like, fucking, come on, man, that's yeah. a na natural- okay, then I'll pee on your store. Yeah. And you do. Yeah. There's a- for- considering how illegal public urination is here, it happens a lot. <laughs> I had a friend, yeah. who, um, I used to go to a lot of cons before I- b before, like, I got, like, recognized a whole lot of cons. Uh-huh. Um, Careful. I was- I was a con-goer. No. Oh, okay. Uh, and I had a friend who, who I- I would always run into at cons, and he was sort of like the aloof, like, con-goer guy, and I was like, Oh man, I, I hope I see this guy. And then I always did, and he always said that he, he, he would drop a deuce at a con, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing, because <laughs> it's I- It's not amazing. No, because I thought, my first inclination, and I don't know why it was, was that he would just, like, get into a corner and just, like, shit somewhere. Oh. But then I found out, like, three years after I had been, like, <laughs> so entranced by this concept, <laughs> That- no, he just goes into a bathroom and yeah. takes his shit. Yeah, that's what I would have assumed he meant. Well, it's because, like, why is that special? I think that's why- It's not special, he was a like, socially oh, awkward person. It's, it's a tradition to- to rip a deuce every time- FUCK! <laughs> it's a tradition to d drop a deuce every time I come to a con, and it's like, well, yeah, it's a tradition for me too, because I poop frequently. Right, right. So, <laughs> what the fuck? that's not a tradition, that's just a thing. Yeah, it's just pooping. So, I was like- I was heartbroken. <laughs> heartbroken, Aaron? I was so upset. So far you've used- it, the two adjectives you've used to describe this story are heartbroken and amazing. <laughs> you, uh, you might have fairly different views of what those words mean no, than I do. No, dude, come on, man. I mean, okay, if somebody- if- if somebody legit can't- fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh god, I'm fucked. Why? Because I'm- I'm out of ink. Oh, no, you're doing great, actually. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, go! Go! Woohoo! I got yeah, eight back! Dude. That was like the best I've seen you oh do this whole God. game. Whew. Wow, I just... Meanwhile, I'm just dying up a storm over here. Die! Ha ha! I made it through. Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Go under, go under, go under. Ah, oh. ah, ah, ah! Oh, God, man. If somebody told you directly, with yeah. no uncertain terms... If you had a chance to change your fate... Alright, that's neither here nor there. Alright, I'm just curious. It's a conversation I would like to have, though. Yeah, I- like, specifically, would you? <laughs> <laughs> the question I want to know is... Uh-huh. Would ya? <laughs> if somebody came to you and said, I- every time I go to a con, right. I find a corner, and I just shit on the floor, mm -hmm. you would not be entranced, you would not be like, whoa! Really? That's crazy! Oh, it is. Next time I- Next time I ask a girl out, I'm gonna be like, If you had a chance to go on a date, <laughs> would ya? 
And chances are she'll be like, no. <laughs> Based on that approach. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you fucking tore through that shit. If you had a chance to build a gate, <laughs> would you? Already done, and like, I've like got three gates around me. <laughs> <laughs> what about it? If you had a chance Whoa. to be Solid Snake, would you? Snake! <laughs> If you had a chance <laughs> to masturbate, would you? Yeah, probably. Oh, shit. Gotta catch all those stars, bro. We got them all. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> this is all of us. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. It's all you, bro. Hold on. This is all you. Stand back. Three up, baby. Boom. I'm gonna take a sip of my, uh, sugary beverage. Your Pepsi? Mmm. Bonsoir. I don't want to give any brand loyalty, but it's a sugary beverage. Yeah. Of the cola variety. Yeah. And it rhymes with everybody's favorite disease, Hep C. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, not my favorite disease, personally. <laughs> Maybe number three. Yeah. Definitely top ten. Mm. Mm. What if Pepsi was pronounced Peepsy? Wouldn't that just change everything? <laughs> <laughs> like they just release a like like you go back in all the Pepsi commercial catalogs and they never actually you said, said it. Pepsi, <laughs> and then they release a commercial tomorrow that's just like mm, an ice cold Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, wait, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> and try diet Pepsi. Clay Aiken, see a fire. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what he's been doing for the past six years. <laughs> ever since he got second on American Idol. <laughs> oh. oh my god, dude. That was really fucking out of nowhere. <laughs> Peepsy. <laughs> Dr. Peeper. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny because it sounds silly. Of course, <laughs> peep, peep, peeps. Oh boy! Oh, really, it's him again. Can really taste the peep. Oh, mm. okay. oh yeah, this dude. I know he's buff as shit. Is he? But only in his right arm, weirdly. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the Rick and Morty things. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa! Hey, Morty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Morty. Ah, uh, you gotta watch out, Morty. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, Morty. Ah, oh, oh, my hair is all spiked. The timeline is destroyed, Morty. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, it's so funny because did we did we talk about our our buddy Justin? He yes. um, he does that show and like we asked him to do the voices. So forgive me if I've said this already. And uh, even when you watch the voices come out of him, you can't believe it's really happening. Yeah, you know. It's like, no, your- your human vocal cords cannot make such a beautiful, yeah. dulcet tone. Such a- such a cartoony sound. Yeah, it's- it's really amazing. It's, it's just cause you associate it with it, right? Like, if he just made some other voice, you'd be like, oh, okay, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, you're probably right. But if you watched a television show of that voice for a season and a half... Yeah, it makes sense. Wait, is there an extra half a season that I've never seen? No, it was just... Don't fucking cock tease me, bros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever. Season two's coming out soon. I mean, you know, hashtag stoked. Hashtag super stoked. Hashtag uh, TiVoing it. Yeah. On my Samsung DVR. Hashtag so jelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever notice that? What's that? Do you ever notice how we still call it TiVoing, but nobody actually uses a TiVo? Oh yeah. They use like non-brand DVRs. Yeah. And pe yeah. And we say Xerox, even though like. It's all just printed out, yeah. and just copied another copied. way. Copied. Yeah. Just paper copied, and nobody- there's no word for that. Nope. Paper copied. That is like- that is supposedly like, one of the greatest keys to business. If you, um... Like- like a band-aid? Yeah, band-aid. Like, if- if you have a product that becomes so synonymous with what it is, that people call it the product name instead but, of the- But that's the thing, right? Like, TiVo is, like, went under. Even yeah. though people still call it TiVoing. That's true. That's true. But I mean, like, a lot of people won't say soda, they'll just say a Coke. You know, can I get a Coke at a oh, restaurant sure. or something like that? Like, you, that's an insane amount of power you in know the marketplace. What I've, you know what I've always wondered? 
Like, what if, what if, like, Coke or, like, a huge company like that- It's pronounced Kake. <laughs> <laughs> what if Dr. Peeper- Dr. Peeper! <laughs> just didn't advertise- Forgot about that one. For, like, a, like, two or three years. Like, what would happen? Like, something major, like Coke. I don't know. Like, do you think they, they would just, like, fall off the face of the earth, or would it just be, like- I don't know. Like I think some sort of drop, or like nothing would change. <sighs> First of all, I don't know if you could even do that because like there's such huge companies with so many like shareholders and stuff. Yeah. Like I don't think. I'm just saying, hypothetically. Oh uh, yeah, I have, I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. I always think about that. I actually think about that weirdly more than than you should. Yeah. <laughs> because who the fuck gives a shit about Coke's advertising campaign? Who the cares? Gosh, another <laughs> delicious Pepsi for me. Mmm. <laughs> Whenever I have a, a a cold load of Peepsy in my yeah. mouth, it's a t it's a. T <laughs> mm. Do, are you old enough to remember the ad campaign for Pepsi, uh, the choice of a new generation? Mm -mm. That was, I think, the '80s. And it's just funny that it's like the generation after that. So like that new generation is now like the kind of like having kids generation. It's like, whoa. Pepsi. Pepsi doesn't want to be associated with you anymore. Well, because you know why that is. What? Oh, infiltrate the junk factory. <laughs> That's another thing I'm saying to a girl at some point. <laughs> <laughs> what about Clay Ake and Sea of Fire? <laughs> sea of fi oh god, next time I get grubs. Oh, uh, whoa, really? Yeah, oh yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That one flew by. Goddamn right. <laughs> time flies when you're infiltrating the junk factory. <laughs> right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be a little pancake and waft slowly down. Do it. I'll catch you. With my spear. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. That actually scared me. Sorry. Oh, I want a cold, refreshing Peepsy. I love Peepsy. <laughs> I am brand loyal to Peepsy. Are you really? Yeah, dude, I fucking love Peepsy.